you very much. In other news, a Spokane man who was diagnosed with cancer and COVID at the same time is happy to be alive and bringing some laughter in what can be a dark time. Mm -hmm. So he's doing so with a podcast called Finding Chemo. Crime News' Dave Summers gives us a look now at how laughter really is the best medicine. What's 10 feet long and bald? A conga line at the cancer ward. Huh? Huh? Those are the kind of jokes you're going to tell on the show today? Yes, sir. Okay. And who are you to make fun of cancer? I have cancer. Hey, welcome to Finding Chemo. I'm Nick Tyson. I'm your host, and we're here with the fabulous Eric Payne. Hi, Nick. My producer. I've been doing comedy for about 35 years. I started in, actually started in Los Angeles back uh, in the olden days at the comedy store doing open mics and all over the place. And then I moved back to Spokane. I was in radio for a long time too. I worked at KLOS in Los Angeles, did a morning show there. And after that, it was just, you know, work, 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 work. I did it, uh, that's all I did for probably 15 years all over the country, US, Canada, all over the place. I got the first diagnosis last May. Um, my doctor found, found out that I had prostate cancer. And then uh, when they find out you've got one kind of cancer, they also do a full body scan and they also found the lung cancer. I was having some other issues and they diagnosed me in July with lung cancer, and then about a month after that, they told me that I have kidney cancer too. And so what's, uh, what's the point of the podcast? Well, the point of the podcast is basically that we make fun of cancer, but we also are very informative. We've got uh, people we interview, nurses, doctors, uh, people in the fight, uh, support people. Insurance people. It's a very expensive thing to go through, so then people need guidance people. for that. Yep. You and I have known each other for a zillion years, and fell out of touch for a little while as our lives went on. We moved around and that, that, that sort of thing. But having that kind of history together, uh, it's, it's, really been a, it's really been a treat. And today is our 31st anniversary. Happy anniversary, darling. <laughs> well, Nick and I reconnected uh, about a year ago, a couple years ago, when I moved back into town um, and caught up with each other. And he told me what was going on with him. And I said, well, I've got a, some experience in production. Why don't we put a, a podcast together, let us talk about it, and get it out there for the world to listen to. It's been a real nice way to um, address the issue in our own way. You know, I think um, finding humor in a, what's an otherwise dark situation is a perfectly human way to cope with it. Uh, it's no laughing matter, but come on, it is. As a great writer once said, I've got to laugh because I know I'm going to die. I'm doing good. I get exercise, I swim, um, I go to wild walls downtown, I climb walls and all that, but the main thing is to keep active and be positive, and that's it. Hey, how many cancer patients does it take to put in a light bulb? How many cancer patients does it take to put in a light bulb? 13. One to put in the light bulb, 12 to say, how inspiring that was. Okay, I like that one, that's a good one. I think we'll keep that one. Let's keep that in the show. Yes, absolutely.